In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add this flange. First, I'll control tab back to my other part. And I want to create it on this face. So I'm going to pre-select this face and then tell SolidWorks I want to create an extrude boss here. And I'll look normal too. Next thing, I want to do a couple of things. I'm going to convert this edge and I'll say OK. When I select this, you'll notice it's a spline, so it doesn't have a center. But I do need that hole because I want to continue the hole through the part. So the next thing I'm going to do is I also want a circular edge. So if I go back here to the sketches, just rotate around a bit so I can see them easier. I'm going to select this sketch. That's the sketch I used initially to create this loft. I'm going to turn its visibility on for a second. And then I'm going to convert one of its entities and I'm going to say OK. Remember it's a converted on edge circle. So now if I drag it around, it's a full circle and it comes with that center point that I need. So before I forget, I'm going to select it and I'm going to tell its construction geometry and I still have this center point that I'm going to want. So next I'll go back normal to. I'm going to activate the line tool. I'm going to create a vertical and horizontal line, push escape. I'll select them both while holding control. I'll release control and I'll make them construction geometry. Next, I'm going to use mouse gestures to activate circle. I'm going to draw a circle here and here. And I'm going to draw another one right on top of it. So two more circles that share a center and then I want a bigger circle over here. And I'm going to push escape to stop. I'm going to get this fully defined and then I'm going to add some lines. So I'm going to select this circle, hold control, select this circle. I'm going to say they're equal. Click in white space. I'll select the centers while holding control and I'll tell them they're horizontal. And the next thing I'll do is select the circle, holding control, select this center line, this circle, release control, and I want symmetry. So now I'll again use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension. These two circles are half inch. This circle as a three-quarter radius, so I'm going to enter 0.75 times 2. And this circle here, I'm going to click in place, has a radius of 1.375. So again, I'm going to enter 1.375 times 2 to get that. I'm going to push Escape. So I'm going to select this circle, hold Control, select this. And these are also going to be equal. The next thing I want to do is I want to dimension to the outside of the circle. So I'm going to activate Smart Dimension using mouse gestures. Then I'm going to hold Shift and I'm going to select this circle. I'm still going to hold Shift and I'm going to select this one. I can release Shift now, move down and click to place the dimension and that's going to be 5 inches. If I didn't hold Shift so I don't have the dimension to the outside, don't worry about it. Go ahead and put in your dimension and then just come over to Leaders. You can scroll down here and just make sure both of these radio buttons are set to max. So I'm going to say OK. The last thing I want to do is use mouse gestures to activate line. And I'm going to add a tangent line here. I'll move off and double click. I'm going to add another tangent line here. I'm going to push escape. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to select this line, this circle, get the tangency I missed. Same thing here, line. Circle while holding control, release control, add tangency. And I missed one here. So again, select the line, hold control, select this circle, add the tangency. They're fully defined now. So I'll select this circle. Sorry, I'll select that line. Hold control, select this line, this center line. And then I'm going to tell I want to mirror those two lines. Because I pre selected the center line, it knows what I want to mirror about. So my sketch is fully defined. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. But I don't want to extrude it yet. I'm going to now use my power trim. So I'll say trim entities. I'm going to click and hold and I'll drag through what I don't want. So I've cleaned that side up. Don't worry about the fact it's gone blue. We're going to fix that in a second. So I'm going to keep dragging through these. So I've trimmed everything out and it's back to fully define. If it isn't, probably what's happened is one of these equals or symmetric relationship has been deleted. Just click on something that's blue, hold it and drag it around, see how it behaves, and that'll help you figure out what you need to do to correct it. 
So my sketch is fully defined. I'm just going to rotate around a bit here before I exit. I'll right click and exit the sketch. And I'm going to make this into an extrusion. The thickness is 0.5. It has all the proper profile selected and I'll say OK. And I'm now added that flange to my part. The other thing I don't want to do is see this sketch. So I'm going to hide it. And notice the hand holding this sketch. That tells me it's shared amongst more than one feature. So in the next video, we're going to continue from there. And we're going to try and copy this flange over to this face.